Today we're looking at an Eastman bow. Pernambuca stick. Quite nice. Nice and straight. Good hair. Took rosin well. Um, yeah, sounds great. Actually, I notice uh, quite the difference between my composite fiber bow and for the the price point of this bow, I tell you, if I had, if this had been available when I bought my bow, I probably would have bought this one instead and saved myself a quite a bit of money. However, I didn't. Very nicely, uh, very nicely crafted. You can see there, it's got the Eastman logo. A uh, nice piece of pearl in there, and very nice bow. There are subtle differences. Um, this is my my Coda bow. This was uh, while well, I bought this bow thirteen years ago, and it was just shy of seven hundred dollars then, uh, compared to the Eastman bow underneath the wood stick. So the grip is a little bit shorter. The frog. We look closely is just a little bit shorter and everything the hair if we're at the furl there that goes straight through the hair length is more or less identical so the differences in this bow are made up entirely on the grip end the one thing that I will point out that I find to be uh, a little bit tight for me is where I would place my thumb right around this area. You can tell on the Coda bow there's a good better part of a centimeter there I would almost guess uh, and here it's half of that distance. So I feel my thumb resting there and I, I fear that you know that part of the grip is going to wear out prematurely. You can even tell on my Coda bow that I hold um, that the grip is wearing out there. Aside from that, I mean, those are small preferences, personal preferences. Um, a beautiful bow, nonetheless. You know, my uh, Coda bow is fairly plain as far as decoration goes. Uh, this one has a nice pearl slide, you know, and a pearl button on the end there that may not be easy to see right now. Um, Tone-wise, I actually find that the Eastman bow is a little crisper on my violins, and I'll, I'll play them for you, and you can judge for yourself. But uh, I really do like the feel. It's weighted nicely, and uh, I think it's a, it's a nice bow. So here's the, the Coda bow on my French violin here. And here's the Eastman bow. Granted, this bow has only been uh, rosined twice and played, you know, half a dozen times. So it's fairly new, hasn't been broken. Uh, just for reference, hair wise, I've had my Coda bow rehaired recently so basically we're starting with two brand new sticks so it's not that one has a pile of hair over the other one um a nice bow very nice bow i'm very pleased with them uh and i'm i'm very happy to uh to be representing eastman through my store lucas welsh music so anyway feel free to check out my website uh, lucaswelshmusic.com and there is a a full selection of instruments, bows, and accessories for all your violin family needs. Hope you enjoyed.